Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Guess where I am today? Yes, back in the pub for Sunday. So I'll just put a little junction box there with the uh, connectors in. So that should be maintenance free. Don't have to come back into that. Uh, what I do have to do now, however, is just remove that radiator pipe. Take these radiator... Uh, oh God, one-handed. Get the radiator brackets off the wall. I could have done that. A little easier if I'd have set the camera up, but it's done now, so we don't need to bother. So we'll pull these out. And then, once we've got rid of that pipe, we can put the boards back down and uh, the cover cap back on, get the fridge back in. So yeah, just a recap from yesterday, we've had to split the ring main into two radial circuits to remove uh, a dodgy piece of cable which has failed an insulation resistance test, don't you know? I've been downstairs and tested it again from the circuit board and everything's reading off scale high for resistance between both line conductors and earth and also between both line conductors which is a good result so that can all go back together and I need to start testing uh, testing the other circuits there's one at the back of the barn and the kitchen sockets and then I've got to take all these light bulbs out so I can test the lighting circuit as well because I just need to double check how I left the uh, earthing on these lights. I can't quite remember. I should have terminated it properly if there was an earth provided to the ceiling rows, but we'll take the covers off and have a look. And yeah, put one in if there isn't, I think. Might as well earth that stuff, hadn't we? I think we should. So for the uh, split down there on that junction, I bought some five-way Wago connectors. And I also bought a junction box, which these slide into, which you can then bury in the wall or behind whatever you need to put it behind. And uh, they were $1.99 each. And instead, they've given me these. 30-pack of three-way junctions. And... Uh, these are £20 a box, so I've spent £4 expecting some junction boxes and I've been given £40 worth of connectors. I don't think I'm going to be going back for a refund somehow. Thanks Tool Station, you're my type of guy. Here's an interesting little insight. So in this little, basically a gas cupboard, We've got a socket here, which runs off this little bird's nest. That goes and powers those sockets up there. This comes across into here, and then that plug operates the lights on the front of the pub, which are on a light sensor. They come on automatically. Then down the bottom, We've got a fuse spurt which comes down here and it actually runs off of a light fixture which was like a, a wall light behind these doors. So ignore the fact that this cable's out of zone as they say, but it is behind metal doors so it's not like anyone's going to get to it or put a screw in and when we move out this will be coming with us, if we move out. Anyway this... Uh, did operate all these little plugs down here, 24 volt plugs, which then operated these 24 volt fairy lights in the doors, which lit the doors up. But I don't like those plugs because they're made of chinesium. Uh, so somebody sent me this, I can't remember who it was. This is a 24 volt power supply, uh, a proper one. And we're going to wire it up in here. And we're going to run those fairy lights off this instead. So I'm going to sit this up here somewhere. 
like that. It's going to be tricky to get it in at first. Then we're going to wire it up to that fuse spur, which I've got this cable here to do that with. And then once that's on, we'll wire in all these fairy lights and see if they work. Well, I thought there's something wrong with these. I wired it up to the system and it tripped the electrics. So I brought it down into the unit to test it on the quick test and it just fucking exploded. So whoever sent me these, yeah thanks like, thanks for fire hazard bud. Both of them are going in the bin. That is dangerous stuff. I can't believe it. So we're going to have to fall back to good old trusty uh, 24 volt PSU. 16 amp, massive overkill, probably only needs to be something about 2 or 3 amps, I don't think I've got a 24 volt power supply that just has that, such a low current output, 12 volts, what's this, fingers crossed boys, 24 volts, 2 amps, there we go, that's better then. So let's test her, and if this is gonna cut the mustard, then we'll run everything off this. Oh, bloody half at circuit's not friggin' working on that one. And half at circuit on that one's not working. Do you ever feel like you're just fighting a losing battle? So there must be some dead LED along the way there that's took the rest of them out, I don't know. These ones work fine. But it is what it is. So we've got the little two amp supply. Just way goed in there, 12 volt, safe as houses. And then all I've done is I've just taken that housing that the uh, other stuff came in, the exploding power supply. And then that can sit inside here on this little uh, din rail. Give me a sec. I'll load her up and we'll have a look. Right, there we go. Neatly stowed away. So that's there. And the plug for the outside lights. And the fuse spur which supplies power to that. And it's all in an enclosure. So safe as houses, folks. Safe as houses. It's just a shame I'm going to have to take these doors off and replace them at some point, which is a bungholio. Well, I decided to jack it in today, folks. I've come home because Gemma, well, she's not here at the minute, has very kindly got a beautiful piece of pork in the oven. So I'm going to be enjoying all that crackling later on. Freaking right, I am. Anyway, just thought I'd show you a quick glimpse out of the window. You can see behind that fencing, which is only there to keep the dog off until we finish this walling. Uh, you can see the grass is coming up nicely. It's starting to show through now. I think it's about time. I got some salad leaves in that little bed there and painted these walls. Oh, it's been a long week though. I've worked, uh, I think, non-stop now for about 32 days or something daft like that with no time off. I don't mind. I don't think I've had a day off at all in that time. But you've got to remember, it is a hobby for me. <laughs> I'm a lucky fella, aren't I? Anyway, I've decided to come home because I don't want to continue with the electrical test until the RCBOs turn up to work because I don't want to have to wire stuff in twice. So they should be here either tomorrow or Tuesday. I need to can a load of beer as well, which is a problem, because uh, the brewery is upside down. I've ordered a little bit more resin to finish the floor in the brewery. I think I'm a few kilos short. And I also need to install a 16 amp IP44 switch socket in the kitchen 
to replace a four millimeter square twin and earth double 13 amp outlet socket which is behind the sink and it just worries me that it's behind the sink and I've tested the cables today and we've got a 32 meg ohm reading on uh, both lines to CPC so I'm thinking yeah maybe just rerun another cable there and get rid of that double socket altogether I don't know why it's got a, a ring of two four millimeter square cables going to a at one 13 amp double socket is overkill massively I mean the current carrying capacity on that is something like 60 amps and it's ridiculous so it doesn't need to be there um, and I don't like the fact it's behind the sink as well so I need to order a 16 amp switched socket or I've got to check upstairs above the workshop I might have one in the stock stock storage area stock area as if It'll be second hand, but it'll be all right to use. Anyway, I just thought it'd be nice to have a peek out the window, but unfortunately the chickens, the windows need cleaning, don't they? The chickens aren't out doing much today, so that's that, I think. We've got Reggie here, though. <whistles> Reg! Reg! What are you doing, bud? Just having a beer after work as well, boys and girls. Hello, mister. Say hello to your fans, Reginald. Yeah. Everyone berating me in the comments now for doing electrical work. Oh, they're going to say I've done such a terrible job. What do you think, Reg? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, mister. I know it's right. You know it's right, really, don't you, folks? Of course you do. Anyway, that's that, boys and girls. I'm going to sign off and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog. Oh, keep plugging away. Hey, it'll be summertime soon when we can all share a beer in the beer garden. Bring it on. <laughs>